Hello everyone, this is the Femacy Lighthouse. Thank you so much for joining me here today on my channel. In this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at all signs how your person is feeling. To book your private reading with me, all of that info is below along with all of the price listings. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. The link to my official IG is below. And as always, not each and every person watching me is gonna feel like this is their message and that's okay. All right, so we're going to begin with the sign of Aries. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to this person that Aries thinks about. How do they feel about Aries? How does this person feel about the sign of Aries? Spirit, please speak to me in reference to... Very nice. Okay. You have the Two of Cups energy with the High Priestess. You have somebody who wants a higher level of commitment here with you. Um, there's some sort of mystery to them, though. Okay, I feel like you're still trying to figure this person out. Um, they're taking their time. They're being patient with you. But you have this energy here that has been watching you for a while or you guys have been friends for a while is the vibe that I'm getting. And the feelings are intensifying. This person could have water energy in their chart. So Cancer Scorpio Pisces is what I'm getting here. All right. Tell me more about how this person. Okay. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right. So this person, they do more thinking than they do speaking is what I'm getting here. We have fire energy as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this person is coming after you. All right, not in a negative way, but um, there's two energies here. That's what I'm also getting. So I feel like there's someone that you're dealing with right now, Aries, and then there's another person. All right, so there's definitely energy of competition. I feel like there's two people that want you and you have a choice to make right now, okay? Um, one of these people are going to be relentless. So, you know, I'm just getting the vibe of someone who does not want to give up on this connection and they're going to fight for you. All right, so that's what I have for Aries. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Gemini. Talk to me about the person that Gemini thinks about. Hmm. Talk to me about this person that Gemini thinks about. Talk to me about the person that Gemini thinks about. Pisces energy with the hanged man. All right, so this person is waiting, okay? Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a lot of fire here. This person is waiting to come after you. They want to visit you. They want to see you. They want to have sex. Okay, with this Knight of Wands energy. Tell me more about this person that Gemini, okay? We have this guarded energy. So even though they may be moody with you or um, they could be having some obstacles right now in their life, some sort of difficulty, they still want you and they want to pursue this connection. So I feel like this person is gonna be very patient with you. All right, so um, they definitely want... A new star. Look at this with the magician. That's your energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo, another earth sign, or an Aries. Okay? Spirit, please talk to me in reference to Cancer. Talk to me about the sign of Cancer. Who is this person? Ooh, okay. So we have the Empress coming out here. Taurus, Libra energy. Who is this person that Cancer thinks about and how do they feel about Cancer? Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Leo energy presenting itself. All right, Page of Swords, reverse, Six of Cups, reverse. Hmm. So for some reason, this person is losing faith in the connection. They're very attracted to you with the Empress energy and they're trying to be strong here, but there's something that they're giving up on. It's like they're losing hope. 
within this connection and they're not seeing a victory right now. And I feel like there's not a lot of communication between you and this person. It's like someone's not speaking up about what the problem really is here. All right, and I see someone withdrawing, okay? So that could be you withdrawing or the person that you're dealing with, okay? Um, I feel that they are choosing to focus on their work at this time. They're focused on their money and there's something that they're ignoring. They're not confronting a situation when it comes to the both of you. All right, so that's what I have for Cancer. Let's take a look at Taurus. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Taurus. How does this person that Taurus thinks about feel about Taurus, please? How does this person feel about Taurus? How does this person feel about Taurus right now? How does this person feel about Taurus right now, Spirit? How does this person feel? How do they feel about Taurus right now? The lovers with Gemini energy. This person's in love with you, okay? They still want this to work. They miss you. They think about you a lot. Tell me more about, yep, Knight of Cups energy. They want to come towards you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me more about this person that Taurus thinks about, okay? They're sad, though. There's something that made them sad. Could have been something that you did or something that you said. You're standing up for yourself here. I feel like they're watching you. Okay, they're definitely watching something that you're doing. They could be going over past text messages or um, images that you may have sent to this person. They're waiting for you. They miss you. Okay, with the hermit energy, they're not speaking up about the fact that they want to see you and... They want to talk about something that transpired, you know, um, but I feel like they're on their way to you. All right. But they know that they have to take their time to address this situation, whatever it is. OK. All right. So let's take a look at Leo. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Leo. How does this person that Leo thinks about? feel about Leo? Spirit, how does this person feel about Leo? And then the cards fall, all right? So did you guys fall out? Was there an argument? Um, do you feel like you're losing this person? Okay, because all of these cards just fell to the floor. Give me a second, please. All right. Okay. So um, let's run that back. <laughs> Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Leo. Talk to me about this person that Leo thinks about. How do they feel about Leo? How does this person feel about Leo, please? How do they feel about Leo? The Wheel of Fortune, so this person is changing, okay? Um, I feel like they're gonna be traveling pretty soon. Um, I feel like there's a lot of money coming into this person's life and they're focused on that. There's fame here, there's notoriety, there's um, some sort of public appearance, there's popularity, okay? There's Pisces energy, Sagittarius energy presenting itself. We have the Ace of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. It's like, even though this person really loves you, Leo, they feel like they have to walk away with the Eight of Cups, okay? Then we have the 10 of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, all right? I see this person leaving this connection or deciding to end it for good, okay? Let me get one more card for you. The Knight of Swords energy. All right, so I feel like this is gonna be something that you're gonna fight for, all right? That's what I'm getting here. So you're not gonna let this person walk away from you so easily, but I feel like 
there's some sort of business venture that this person is going to be very successful at here. Okay? And because of that, they're walking away and they're traveling somewhere. Hmm. All right, that's what I have for you, Leo. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to Virgo. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Virgo. Talk to me about this person that Virgo thinks about. Talk to me about the person that Virgo thinks about, please. Who is this person? All right, so there's someone here that does not want to move on from you. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Scorpio. We have Capricorn energy here. Tell me more about this person that Virgo thinks about. The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, Pisces energy. Okay, they feel like you are changing. They feel that you're going to be famous or there's a lot of money coming in for you. Things are going your way. They're watching this happen. Okay, but they don't want something to end with you. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Card just smacked me in the face. <laughs> Page of Swords, this person is watching your social media. They're watching your every move here with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy presenting itself. We have the full energy. They are going to keep trying with you, all right? This person is persistent with Aries energy here. So keep that in mind. You have someone who does not want to let this connection go. All right. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Libra. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to Libra. Talk to me about this person that Libra thinks about. Talk to me about this person. Could be dealing with another Libra, a Gemini or an Aquarius. We have fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then the Five of Cups. I feel that your person is going through a difficult time, all right? They were going through a difficult time yesterday as well, all right? Um, and that's not funny. I'm not laughing at them. But I'm just saying that the energy will continue to show up the same if nothing has changed. You know what I mean? With the Three of Swords, there's a lot of pain. There's agony here. There's something that they feel that they cannot fix they don't have control over something that's hurting them. And it's irritating. All right? We have the Ace of Wands. So, yes, you know, they do have a lot of passion for you. They um, are going to continue to be there. All right? Uh, they view you as someone who is very stable, who takes care of home, who's very domesticated. You know, a good cook, someone who cleans the house very well, someone who um, is really attentive to them. However, um, they're going through self-esteem issues here with the Five of Cups. There's a lot of disappointment that they are thinking about, and I feel like they need to get out of those thoughts, all right? Um, I feel like they are creating scenarios that are not really taking place here with this Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. All right, so that's what I have for Libra. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Scorpio. Talk to me about this person that Scorpio thinks about. How do they feel about Scorpio? How does this person... Okay, so we have Capricorn energy coming out here. There's someone who is trying to stop thinking about something that was negative that took place between the both of you all right we have the temperance energy sagittarius coming out here we have taurus virgo capricorn all right so this person is watching over you literally okay this is protection this is an angel they are watching you be successful in some way. It's like they're proud of you, okay? It's like there's some sort of promotion coming up for you and they know it. So 
something about your job. Tell me more. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're confused about something here. They're going back and forth. There's someone who's indecisive. There could be another option and they're waiting. So someone's waiting for you to make some sort of decision here. Okay, and um, you have like protection. So you're gonna be protected. You don't have to be scared. There's something negative that's leaving your life is what they're telling me here. All right. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to Sagittarius. Spirit, please talk to me in reference to the sign of Sagittarius. How does this person that Sagittarius thinks about feel about Sagittarius? Dang, like, that's way too many. Hold on. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to this person that Sag thinks about how they feel about Sag. How does this person feel about Sag? I get to Sag and the cards are all over the place. Spirit, please talk to me about, all right. So we have the Seven of Swords. They're trying to get away from you here. Someone's trying to get away with something. Okay, we have the hanged man. This person is doing a whole lot of thinking, not a lot of talking. Just, I see them running away or trying to go away. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Energy. Uh, this person is focused on the bag right now, getting this money. Tell me more about, what the, all right, now your cards are hitting things over here. All right, we have, um... The Five of Cups. So this person is in their emotions, disappointed about something that happened between the both of you. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you know why this person is in their feelings and you're watching them leave. Okay, they're trying to get away. All right, so let's take a look at Capricorn. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to Capricorn. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the person that Capricorn thinks about. How does this person feel about Capricorn? This person's in love with you, all right? But they feel left out by you. They feel like you have a lot of options and that there's more than one person that you're interested in. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They feel that you are abandoning them or walking away, that that was a choice that you made here. We have the Sun card, all right? So this person is looking for a new beginning elsewhere. Even though they're in love with you, they just feel like they need to move to a different location or that they need to get away. Somebody is moving here is what I'm getting here, okay? Or wanting to move away. There's arguing about um, your options. This person feels like you're messing with somebody else or they're comparing you to someone else or something like that. Okay, let's move on to Aquarius. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Aquarius. Talk to me about this person that Aquarius thinks about. How does this person currently feel about Aquarius? You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. This person is the King of Cups or Queen of Cups for you. All right, so Sagittarius energy here. I feel like the feelings are mutual between the both of you. All right, so very into each other at this time. Two of Pentacles. I feel like there may have been a disagreement here uh, in the recent past between you and them, but it's not going to ruin where the connection is headed. This is going to continue. It's like you guys are made for each other. We have this two of wands. Someone needs to decide here or make a choice about something. And we have king of pentacles. 
All right, so this choice could have to do with making more money. Someone is getting a new career or having to go back to school to study, all right? But it's going to pay off. Hmm. All right, Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Pisces. Talk to me about Pisces. How does this person that Pisces thinks about feel about Pisces? How does this person feel about Pisces, please? How does this person feel about Pisces? How does this person feel about Pisces? Two of Cups. As somebody that can't stop thinking about you. <laughs> All right. They want to get back together. They want to come see you. They um, wish that things could be better here. They're going to be taking action. They're not going to give up here. They're moving towards you. Um, they want to make you happy. And I feel like you guys could be married. You don't have to be married. But um, there's an energy here of them feeling like there's nobody else for them but you like this person goes out of their way to make you feel better could be dealing with an Aquarius here all right so this person again they feel like uh, they have to help you with something there could be some sort of health issue that someone's having here and you have this person assisting you with that um, it's like they're looking to drop something that's toxic here okay with Capricorn energy in reverse. And they feel like there's going to be victory with you. I have the Ace of Cups here. Okay, so this person is not going to give up. Okay, there's never-ending love here. Right? With the Ace of Cups energy. All right, so that's what I have for you. I want to thank you so much for watching to book your private reading with me. All of that info is below along with all of the price listings. Please follow me on Instagram. Thank you and take care.